you guys so right now i just took out a style that i had in in my previous video if you haven't watched it go ahead and check that out it's a hairstyle for awkward length hair um so i just took that out and my hair is like super itchy super you know dirty so it's about that time to go ahead and wash it and then i'm going to show you guys my braid pattern that i do for under my wig and I will put in clips of how I maintain my hair uh, throughout the week that I wear these cornrows um, for max growth and moisture and all that good stuff. All right, so I'm gonna head in the shower, wash my hair. I use black soap to wash my hair instead of shampoo. And I use a, a deep conditioner on my hair for about 30 to 45 minutes. So I'll be right back after I get out the shower. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I just got out of the shower. And every time I wash my hair, I just notice how my hair is just like getting longer and longer and I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> super excited. So what I have here is some water. Even though I just got out of the shower, you still want to wash your hair because products, you know, penetrate your hair better when your hair is wet. The products that I'm gonna be using today is the Cantu Leave-In, the Coconut Curling Cream, and Avocado. I do the LCO method, which is leave-in, cream, and then oil, because it just seals in all the moisture. So I'm just gonna start by parting my hair straight down the middle. And your parts definitely don't have to be straight because they're under a wig, so nobody's gonna see them. Um, sometimes I like to wear styles with my braids, like my head wrap um, tutorial. I have a video up on that also. <laughs> to grab my big two comb and just retangle that. And then I'm going to start braiding. I always part off a section of the front and then I turn that into three pieces. Then I just start braiding. Some people braid underhand, some people braid overhand, just have to find what, what works best for you.
guys. So that took about mommy, seven. Mommy. That took about seven minutes for me to do these four braids. Most people do like ten braids, and listen, it's not happening. Like I <laughs> started to do four braids, and they look pretty good. I mean, I have some flyaways because my hair is short. Okay, you guys. So after I do these braids, I usually do like ten. But I just stopped doing that because my arms are getting super tired. I have the time to keep doing that. Here are my four braids. Before I go to bed, I usually take an oil. This is my avocado oil. I usually use black castor oil, but I don't know what happened to it. And it has like the nozzle, so you could just go in between your hair. And so every day I spray water on my hair. So I just spray it all over my braids. But then at nighttime, like I told you, I take the black castor oil and I just put it on, put it on my scalp and you can massage your hair for five minutes or so. And then apply your hair tie, which is my bonnet or a big Doesn't scarf. Matter what kind of scarf it is, as long as it's like a satin silk material and I have um, silk pillows, silk pillowcases. So my hair is always protected, but I still throw on a bonnet at night just to keep the, the fuzzies and the flyaways in check. So these are my braids up under here. They don't look too shabby. And it's still flat to my head when I put on a, um, a wig cap. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and how to, you know, the easy, simple way to install braids and keep your hair, uh, keep the upkeep of your hair in check while you have a protector style. Wow, protector yeah. style. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And if you have any more video ideas for me to do, put them down below. I comment back to everybody who comments on my videos. So I hope. <laughs> my son is crazy. I hope to hear back from you guys soon. All right. Bye.